we just go in and start spackling all of the all of the holes, gaps, all the way throughout the project. None of the caulking has been started yet, and that would be the where the trim meets the wall. This got two. This is where we're caulking in the wall to the trim, and then you caulk in the trim to the trim. These areas all in here are all um, filled and molded together. First sand where we've done all the preliminary caulk and spackle work and we've sanded everything now and we're ready for primer. Mechanically sand all of the flats to um, get everything on the same plane. We loaded all of that up and then mechanically sanded it all the way down this edge. Just the nail holes expand and mushroom up. The only way to get rid of them is to mechanically sand them. You can also see all of our outside corners are mechanically sanded. That way that when the joints come together, you have a good marriage. This is our final uh, priming all of the caulk and spackle work that we did. The primer is primarily a protectant for moisture uh, in the product itself during shipping and application. This primer is uh, for holdout of the enamel adhesion. Um, it also equalizes the porosity through all the repairs. We have the electric sanders in the background. Um, they're mechanically sanding all of the flat areas on the door. And we'll be retreating, you know, priming all of those. This is the prime cycle. And we've gone through and you can see the critiquing of additional spackle that we're putting on. This is the uh, critique cycle, which just eliminates any and all surface imperfections. So we pretty much go through everything twice uh, during this phase. We've primed all of this. I had pictures of it raw before, and we can see all the additional critiquing that it brings out. This is our standard process that every project, every house receives. What we're doing on this phase is a uh, critique cycle. We're caulking all the millwork uh, that has any gaps. Everything is completely re-sanded, uh, critiqued, final sanded, and now we're going into the cleanup with any uh, over sanding. We took uh, spray can kills and spot primed any edge block killer that we use on any kind of things that we over sand or busted through. Now it's just miscellaneous uh, final critique work prior to painting and you can see all the final cleaning, dusting everything down. And then they're going to go back through it and do a light uh, vacuum around the base area predominantly. This is the next phase. We've done all the painting now. Uh, we protect the garage area, but on the inside, um, we can just spray it right up on the walls. It's not, there's a heavy enough texture that we don't level it out or erase it. And we stand the doors up in the middle of the room, uh, protecting the ceiling from any overspray. This is the masking, and this is what we're into now. Now we're starting the masking process. And what we do here is we mask it off like chrome on a car, all the way through. How you doing, guys? We use Visqueen on the door jam and paper on the base. And the next step after this is spray and back roll. This is a final step of redoing the walls after we've done the millwork. What we do is we'll come in and spray a prime coat on the walls with the wall paint. What that does is it kills the enamel and gives us the adhesion. As you can see, we haven't done the walls or anything like that. We're just going over the enamel uh, for an adhesion coat and a color coat. So when we put the final finish on, we have uh, superior coverage. Now, the guys are in the bathroom. We start in the bathroom first. 
and the next thing they do is come in here. And what they'll do is they'll spray out the two in the wall. And then the other one will start the back roll right in the window, laying it down nice and straight. And this is the final finish. This is where we've done all the taping and uh, masked everything off. And what we did was we came in and sprayed and back rolled all the walls complete and blended them into the ceiling. So you have a complete uh, brand new house. And the only thing that's left to detail in the house is hardware, um, carpet and anything that's uh, finish driven but otherwise it's completely defect free um, and you can see by us spraying on the wall actually has no effect whatsoever uh, when we put the final finish on because the texture is heavy enough uh, to support that. As you can see all the way through, uh, there's nothing there.